So this is one of the original walls at the back of the house which is coming out. So this whole wall and windows will all be dropped. And obviously without this here, there's nothing supporting the roof. So the structural engineers specified this steel, which is a 152, 152, 37. And in English, that means 152 millimetres, 152 millimetres. And the number at the end is the kilos per metre. That's the strength and grade of the steel. So in this case, it's quite small. It's only 37 kilos a metre, which means we can lift it without any additional help. So in order to put the steel in, obviously the steel is going to take the weight of the roof. So we need to come inside and put supports, acros, underneath, holding up the roof. In theory it shouldn't go anywhere, but it is actually taking the roof load, which is timber and tiles. So we come in, we've cut two holes in the ceiling, one here and one there, so we can see basically what we've got to play with. Because of the pitch of the roof, we've run some 4 by 2 underneath, running the span across here, because the acros fit better under a flat bit of 4x2 then you've got the pitch of the roof it could easily move so we've put a bit of 4x2 in we've raised the acros up so that they're, they're in sturdy but we don't want to push wind this up too much because it will lift the roof up so this is taking the weight which means we can then put the steel in let the sand and cement go off so in the morning it will be all dry and then we can drop these acros the weight of the roof will then be in the new steel which means this wall can simply come out and get knocked down. So how we put this in, we've, you can see the inside block work there and the brickwork of the existing house. We've brought up our levels with a concrete block and the engineers sometimes use pad stones, which is like a concrete block. Uh, but in this case, they've asked us to use a, a steel plate, which is eight mil thick. And the steel is actually bedded straight on top of that. And the reason for the plate it spreads the load of the steel, although in this case, you've only got the weight of the roof, which is a bit of timber and some roof tiles. So there's not a significant weight, hence this steel isn't any bigger. So this isn't the only wall coming out. We've also got this one here, which is gonna come out as well to create a big open plan room. Um, same as above, we need another one of these steels, which we've got ready to go, and that's gonna sit in exactly the same way, taking the weight of the rafters and the tiles from that corner to the end of the house. So once they're both in place, we can then drop both walls, which will then create that big open plan living space. So in this case, we're working on, on a bungalow where there isn't obviously a first floor. So what we've had to do is these rafters have come down. We've cut them off square, running behind the web, which is here. And that rafter then, if you imagine from this side, it's cut into this web. So the, the roof is sitting in here. So this web of the steel here is taking the rafters. So all the weight is now on this steel, which is sitting on our newly formed plates and walls.